Welcome back to Bright Side here on 10 Tampa Bay. Let's get a check on the tropics here. Here we are. What is the date? August 7th. By this date, we typically have two named storms. We've had nine so far. And we've got 90% of the hurricane season less to go, at least typically for the amount of activity that we see. So here we sit. The activity obviously typically begins to increase, and, and then it just increases even more. The peak of hurricane season on September 10th. You're probably saying, why are you telling me this, Grant? Uh, yesterday, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration issued their updated forecast for the hurricane season. Now, the normal season sees 12 named storms, six hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. They're going big time here, guys. They're saying an extremely active hurricane season is expected. We're already seeing a record hurricane season right now, but they're saying 19 to 25 named storms are possible, 7 to 11 hurricanes, and 3 to 6 major hurricanes. Now, this is coming a day after Colorado State University issued their forecast for the potential of 24 named storms. Now, guys, typically we see 21 names on a list for a hurricane season. So you're saying, well, if you're forecasting more than that, what happens after that? We start using the Greek alphabet. If we run out of names, that would be Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, so on and so forth. We've only had to do this once. That was in 2005. Fortunately, right now, there is nothing out there in the tropics that has a chance of developing over the next five days. So we're in good shape there. That's good news, but there's always something to keep an eye on. We have three tropical waves that we're watching moving across the Atlantic. But again, at this point, nothing is expected to develop, but peak of hurricane season isn't until the middle of September.